Good morning, folks. We'll be hitting four key science articles today on volcanoes, the Beaufort Gyre, solar forcing, and micronova events on stars. We're also checking out space weather, and that is where we will begin with the last 24 hours on our star. We still have several sunspot groups, but they are relatively quiet at the moment. There's a new group in coming on the south, but it's relatively calm for now. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm as well. It's a nice break from the higher activity we saw the last two weeks. So let's jump right into the articles, and we begin with what they are calling the largest volcanic eruption of the Holocene. Apparently, this submarine eruption about 7,000 years ago was a super eruption that occurred south of the mainland Japan area. Would have made the Tonga eruption from a couple years ago look like a sparkler. Up next, we've got an excellent paper on solar forcing of the hydrological cycle, with a bonus in how they recognize that much of the correlation is due to the sun's known effects on El Nino and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. It is the sun's effect on these major oscillations that means that it impacts nearly everything weather-wise in the world. Folks, we just discussed the cold climate bomb in last night's video, and here today we've got a study suggesting that the freshwater content in the Beaufort Gyre has been underestimated. This means that the discussion of how bad it will be when it releases is just scratching the surface of its potential impact on the planet, filing that one under the bad news category. And last but not least, folks, we've got another micronova star. They're not only identifying more and more of these, but in this one, they were able to determine that only somewhere between a tenth of 1% and a 500th of 1% of the material dump needed to produce a classical nova is what's required for a micronova. It's another way of saying that triggering micronova events is way, way easier than classical nova events. It's in line with the astronomer's hypothesis that they are very common, just still hard to see. We greatly appreciate your support. Nobody dump anything onto the sun, please. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.